what's new in the user interface for 2023, we'll look at our Blender model. The buttons are missing their decal, and we need to remind the next person to take care of this part of the task. To do this, we'll add a comment to the surface where the decal should be located. First, I'll start by adding a screenshot of the model to make it easier for the next user to see the area of concern. I'll add a quick note to remind them to add the decals before rendering in Visualize or making manuals in Composer. And to make the note pop out a little more, I'll select Visualize and Composer and bold both in those pieces of the text. I'll edit the note more by selecting and adding an image of the decal, and we'll add this to the comment as well. I'll adjust the color of this note. By changing the colors, we can adjust the priority level of this note as well. I'll select blue to mark this as a reminder. To make sure the next user cannot miss the note when they open this model up, I'll select the checkbox to show on open. I'll close out of the note, zoom the model to fit, and save it as well. I'll exit the model and then reopen just to show you. Now when it opens up, I can see my new comment pops up right on start. This will continue to show on startup until the checkbox is removed to show on startup. Also remember when I colored my note blue, SOLIDWORKS adds that coloring to the comment indicator in the design tree as well. Those colors are also something that's customizable. Let's go to tools and options and into the document properties. And under model display, we'll see where the colors of our comments mean and also how to adjust that too. I'll change the text for reminder over the decals. As a reminder, this is just for this document. But we could also do this in the document template and have them saved and used company-wide. Have you ever been modeling away and as you do it, you add a toolbar from one task and then another and another and so on until your SOLIDWORKS screen looks like a mess it's half the size it used to be? Well, now we can go up to Customize, and on every tab in the Customize window, we can reset those back to the defaults. A quick click on the Toolbar window, and I can reset my SOLIDWORKS back to normal again. We can have it do Toolbars, Command Manager, or all customizations. I'll reset the mess of Toolbars I created and have my SOLIDWORKS looking fresh again. Our final user enhancement is one that we seem to talk about every year for the past few years. SOLIDWORKS continues to work on the graphics pipeline and make things work better for everyone. Most of this stuff is behind the scenes, but they have worked on solving many of the bugs that have caused in the past. If you have a chance, please take the time to turn it on and try it out. These and many other user interface enhancements in SOLIDWORKS 2023.